because it's such a common problem and, you know, it affects so many women. How was it? Oh, I was bad. Have you heard about endometriosis? Oh, uh, no, I haven't. Oh, uh, no. Uh, no, I don't think I have. No, I have not. Can you just tell me if you're No, I haven't. No, I haven't. No, I haven't. My name is Caroline Gargett and I work in the, at the Hudson Institute in the Ritchie Centre um, and I lead the endometrial stem cell biology group. I think one of the key things is, is um, education and, and actually just speaking about it and, and bringing it out into the open so that it's talked about in schools, at university, you know, in the pub, because it's such a common problem. You know, it affects so many women, one in seven. My name is Mia. I was diagnosed with endometriosis when I was in year 11. So I was 16 then and now I'm 18 years old. Endometriosis occurs when endometrial tissue exits the uterus and bleeds like externally in the outside of the uterus. Uh, but it doesn't actually involve any bleeding outside of your body. Endometriosis was pretty tricky for me to deal with throughout my education just because you got to go to school, like hold your bags and walk around to class and that doesn't seem like something that's tricky but with endometriosis it was quite hard to stand up straight. I had to have a wheelchair when I was shopping um, just because I couldn't really walk much. So I did quite a lot of study from home in year 11. So I felt like I was really missing out. I also had to quit my part-time job after three months so it was tricky because I really enjoyed that job and I only just started working. Basically because I was saying I couldn't stand up much it meant I couldn't really participate in my netball club so I had to quit that as well. The physical pain affected how I could socialize with my friends. They either had to come to my house and just sit down with me or yeah I just basically didn't hang out with them much during, during that period of my life. The pain was getting really severe in year 10 so I went to the hospital twice and I got turned away because the doctors like, just didn't really know what was going on. They couldn't really explain the pain so I just went back home and had to deal with it myself. Endometriosis is a, quite a tricky disease to diagnose. There are, have been advancements in ultrasound in the last few years so some types of endometriosis can now be detected by ultrasound but really most patients have to get to that surgery. So that was how I was diagnosed, was the day of my surgery. It was just really exciting knowing that they could remove the endometrial tissue and it could be all gone. But the day of the surgery was really hard for me. I had like never experienced pain that bad before. And then after having surgery, that period of time was like worse than the pain I had before surgery. Period and period pain is normalised and, and there's not a distinction between normal menstrual cramps and the type of pain that is incapacitating and really excruciating, which is not normal. I think it would apply to general menstruation and anything connected to it, that it's kind of needs to be hidden, is not to be talked about, hush hush, and so maybe impairs people so they can't function properly. Yeah, I found that guys were like initially awkward to talking about period pain and this disease because they didn't really know the difference. Um, but it was nice just telling them, oh, this is the disease, it doesn't affect me externally, so I'm not actually bleeding, do I? That helped them understand it a little bit more and then they could be a bit more relaxed about it. Okay, guys, this is a really important message for you because 50% of the population are women. One in seven to one in nine of them have got endometriosis. You know some of them. They might be your sister, they might be your mother, they might be your cousin, <clears throat> they might be your partner. These are really important women in your life and you need to care about them. You need to encourage them to go and get help because they often have to go to the doctor, not just one. They may need to go to five different doctors to get a diagnosis. Endometriosis is a condition that can take away a person's quality of life. It's important to develop an understanding of how each other functions and be aware of conditions like endometriosis and menstruation in general. As a person who's had endometriosis and might have it again in the future, I would really like if the stigma was removed from the guys and if they could make us women feel a bit more comfortable about it, then it would be really nice because it is actually quite a, quite a horrible disease to go through. They need your encouragement to persevere um, and to cope with it, such a debilitating disease.
I'm definitely feeling it. Stop, stop. <laughs>